Hi everybody. Want a really easy way to be able to send your customers uh, a password automatically by using a password reset ticket category and user-defined fields? If so, this video is for you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Tim. I'm from a company called Sundella Consulting. We are MSP consultants specializing in helping MSPs to get the best out of order task. If you like the videos on this channel, I'm gonna be making a lot more of them. I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, and of course, ding the bell up there or over there, uh, wherever it's gonna to be uh, to get updated content as it comes out. So let's go and take a look at how this actually works. So what you can see from here is we have an email that we've sent in, or our customer has sent in to us. So you can see, you know, it's a password reset ticket, and the customer has said, I need to have my password reset. So what will happen in here is we've set this so that when a customer sends us that kind of ticket, it automatically comes into order task, creates it with a password, uh, a, a ticket category of password reset. It also automatically sets um, the uh, user defined field in here to be a no. And I'm gonna to explain to you a little bit later why it's actually doing this. So let's say we now want to go ahead and send our customer uh, a temporary password. So here you can see we have a password field. So if I simply edit this ticket and I go into here and I enter in the name of this password. So let's call this password, you know, uh, yeah, test1234. Now what we can do is when we click on the save button, you can see that this says password sent equals no. Now I've configured a workflow rule to say that it will only send what's inside this field if this password sent dropdown is equal to no. So once I click on save, what this will do is this will trigger the workflow rule and say whatever's inside this field here, send that to the customer and then go ahead and change this to a yes. And the reason I do that is because otherwise, if we didn't have a, a dropdown in here that said when to send the contents of this, then every time we edited the ticket for anything, it would always send them back that password. So this is the way we can get around that, is to say once we've entered something in there, as soon as we click on save, it's gonna send the password, and then it's gonna trigger a workflow rule uh, to, to automatically change that to yes. So let's go and take a look at how this works. So simply, I'm gonna hit on save. And what this does is you can see, we've now sent the customer this password called test1234. And if I simply, if I simply click this button, it's going to give me the ability to, uh, you'll see this will eventually change. And also I will get back an email in a couple of seconds. There you go. So I've now got an email saying your temporary password. And then this tells me what the temporary password is that's been reset. Now, if we actually go and have a look at this ticket itself and we do a refresh on this, you will now see that the password sent field has been changed to yes. So let's take a look at how we actually would do this. So from the admin module, what we're gonna do is go into workflow rules. And once we go into the workflow rules, you can see I've got um, a workflow rule in here that is setting this exact thing to happen. So here's the workflow rule that says when a ticket is edited by anybody, and the UDF password sent is equal to no, then take whatever's inside this uh, password in here, um, or if this, sorry, if this password field in here is not empty, so in other words, only trigger this when that is no and that is not empty, i.e. there has been a password filled in, um, then go ahead and change that field to a yes. And if we go back and we look at the notification, all we are simply doing at this point is if we click into here, we are saying, take the contents of that UDF and send that to the customer. So it really is as simple as that. I hope this has been useful for you uh, and thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video.